Heavenly Father, <clears throat> we come to you today in the name of him who said of himself, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me, and in his name we gladly come. We have just celebrated Easter, and our minds are fresh with the memory of what took place on that hill outside Jerusalem so many years ago. But despite the passage of time, those events still have meaning and relevance today. Jesus, your Son, giving his life voluntarily for us to redeem us from our sinful state, not because of what we have done, but because of what we are in your sight. We recall his words from the cross, It is finished! As he bowed his head and gave up his life, thus completing the work that you had entrusted to him. Three days later your response came, Yes, it is. Although not in audible form, as you raised him from the grave, Death could not keep its prey, Jesus my Saviour. He tore the bars away, Jesus my Lord. Up from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph o'er his foes. Many of us will know that hymn, and may have even sung it. Some of us may know the actual truth of Jesus my Lord. We thank you for the gift of eternal life given to those who have placed their faith in that finished work and who know you to be their Saviour and their Lord. We thank you for all the other gifts you have given to us, for the things you have provided and the way you have led us. We thank you for those who have prepared these services and who would normally be with us to explain your word to us. We thank you for the gift of technology that enables us to hear those things while it is not possible for the regular team to be present. And we ask again that you will enable us to respond to your word and come to a personal knowledge of Jesus as our Lord and Saviour. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.